you want to use another example, you know, um, we'll use relationships, let's say marriages, you know, you know, and let's say there's this one family of extended tribe members of extended family that that is, you know, kind of struggling and they're and they're kind of going through a hard time. Financially speaking, they're, they're you know, paycheck to paycheck. It's, you know, they, they're having a hard time putting food on the table because money is tight. And um, let's just say one of those leaders of that family will say, you know, the wife or the husband is, is, is out and about and they and they, they they go to the store to get some things together. And uh, there's a there's there's a person on the side of the road, you know, begging for 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 change. You say a panhandler or, or beggar or, or whatever, right? They're in, they're in some hard times too. And that person is is asking for some help, you know, in the way of begging, panhandling. You know, we'll just say again for hypotheticals that the uh, the wife of the family feels bad for this person. You know, she reaches into her purse and, and gives them some, you know, a dollar or two dollars or whatever. And then the husband and the mother and the, and the in-laws and whoever else that they went out with together to go shopping to get stuff for their family are now looking at the wife and going, what is wrong with you? We're struggling over here, and you're giving this money to a complete stranger who we're not tied to in any way. They have, they are no, we're under no obligation to help an outsider, a stranger, somebody who's not tied to us. What, what is wrong with you for giving away our money that we need to feed ourselves and our families with? In that family's case, and in that context of things, what the wife did by giving that money away could be seen and deemed by the family unit as being dishonorable. You are doing something to not enhance.